February, uh, we are Celeste Medina and I am Mario de Camilis, probably you know us already because we are sending this to our friends, our students. Yes. yes. Um, today we are going to do a milonga step and we are going to change just a few details just to make it a little more interesting after the basic part. Okay, so we are going to divide it in two in two parts. One a little easier and the second one a bit more complicated but it's just easy going you will see. Okay? So this is going to be more or less like this. We do it in open embrace first, right? So then we have this ribbon and then I invite her to go on my right side. First important detail, I don't shift all the way and then I do just a little bit and I hide the right leg, okay? So then this is the way to invite her to go forward. Entonces, so we have this ribbon, there she go, right? So now we do it again. So we do this ribbon and hide the right leg, don't do it too much, okay, just a little bit. And then pin, pin. Okay? And what we are going to do then with the impulse is to keep leading the turn. So this will be more or less like this. Ocho cortado. Okay? So we do it again. Tan, 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 tan. Okay, we do the close embrace. Okay, we do the other side. So no matter in which direction you start, you always finish in the same direction, okay? Um, yes, so that's more or less what I do here after she walk forward, I collect, then I hide the leg, you see? Then when she go backward, I do switch with her. This organizes my turn a lot. And also when I lead her, the ocho cortado, yes? From now on, we assume that you understand the ocho cortado, so we try. We just take care of the of the rhythmic and the the the, the rebound and the turn. Okay, so this is going to be half time. One, two, three. One, one, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, so we do the direction. So this is going to be. Tac, 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 yes? yes? For me it's very simple. The first step is just a power step. I flex my knee because it's a rebound, so I transfer all my weight. It's just like this, simple, without any embellishment for the start. Then I will give you one embellishment to play more. After here, I go forward, side step, and now is, uh, we, I start the heel, no? In the forward step, side, and this is the backward step, side step, forward step, side, and ocho cortado. See? It's very simple. So, rebound, heel, ocho cortado. He cut my hero in the moment of the chocolate. Um, this is the timing. Um, um. Mm? So, for me, will be strong beat, strong beat, double beat, double beat. Mm? So, that's it. Pa, 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 strong, pa. When she is turning around, so it's very important the, the angle that I take when I hide the leg, see, because then it makes it easier to keep uh, facing her with my upper body. So be careful if you do just a little bit, you see, then won't be enough. So um, remember this, just this tip, 
Also, it's the tip, the same concept that help you in the first rebound when you do this, then it's easier to turn. So if you keep it like that, it's possible if you don't hide the leg, but it uh, won't be that comfortable, I think. So.
So what did you do that uh, applies to any free bound that you want to do, right? In tango, waltz, doesn't matter the rhythm, and it's in relation with the connection. I, what I will play with is with the moment when she tap there, you see? So she just have a bit of weight. So that will be the moment where I will slow down. I probably will um, slow down my energy a little earlier than that, but I will focus on that moment, yes? To give her like more an ounce, and then I change the direction. So my goal, pursuing this, is that she have time to use her ankle, her connection with the floor, and then she push the floor by herself, and then she can choose. You know, in which way she wants to do it, that's like completely on the choose of the follower, so, but I try to open this thing, right? So be careful, because if you land there with too much energy, then the follower might think that you will take the next step, and then when you pull her in the other direction, then it won't feel, it will not feel nice, right? So attention with that, use your leg, your leg, and allow the follower to use the follower leg. Okay? Yes? So we do the tan, 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 tan. Then here, we will have the same rebound, but to the side. So don't use too much power, because she might think that we want to keep turning, right? So use, again, just a little bit, and focus on that moment. Once it's clear that we are not going to do the turn, it's like, it's like okay, I slow down the energy, so then she said, okay, this is ocho cortado. Then you could switch a little more and then come back, yes? But the good thing is that, okay, she knows that I go just like this, ah, so then I switch a bit more and then she can use the free leg. Because if I don't switch enough, then I will block the both legs. So I need to allow that possibility on the follower. Let's switch just the ocho cortado here. See, so it's like I go up in there and then it's freedom. So it's like followers have the chance to make all that beautiful, amazing, and incredible, and mind blowing ornaments. <laughs> right? Also, take care when, when in the lead to, for this rebound, because uh, as uh, Mario said before, um, you just bring the woman to the, to the step, no? I transfer my weight. But if you relax, release the, the arms too much, and this is, I go to my heel and I see it, the timing of the, of the music can change. And we are dancing milonga, no? So I think for, in my opinion, I think it, uh, also he disagree. Once I, I am here, it's like a, it's a touch and go, it's like a pam pam, it's, it's very, it's a rebound, but actually it's not the, this, no, I, I really don't sit because it's difficult to recover this energy. Mm? So it's like a touch and go. I go and change. No? Enough to, to change, but look my, my face. And of course, we will dance in close embrace, no? Because in open embrace, I think it doesn't have any sense to dance milonga in open embrace. No? We are intermediates and advanced dancers. And this is for, for doing in close embrace. No, now after coronavirus, <laughs> if you are in your home, you can practice together. But just a little bit, but I stay with him. No, I stay, do the embellishment, and then continue. No? And in the, in, the, in the side step, it's the same. I stay with him. Look, it's not this. No, I sit here. No? I stay with my partner, and then I cross. Always I have this energy in the under with my partner. This is the most important in close embrace. Of course, it's, it's the lead. The lead if, the, if the men give a space, you will open. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I want to explain because um, the, the next embellishment will be with my free leg in the moment of the, of the bower step in the heel. So here, we start. Pa, pa, pa. Here, I decide to, instead of just walk, do this, up, yes? This is embellishment, I decide, he don't know, I don't disturb nothing, I don't change the time, nothing, nothing, just decide, do it. Why? Because I think it's a nice moment, because from here, I will finish here, so all this process, all this way, I have to, I can use with this, this means, look, from here, 
to hear. But if the, if the man lead me this backward step without the, the, the hero very small, without much pivot, it's not, um, I don't think that it's good to do. Because look like this. From here, from here, maybe to here, I will lead, no, it's not nice, no, from here, this. It's nice when you use the pivot and then the next step also have the same dynamic. So we can kind of speed up a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So right. depends, depends of the of the which kind of hero he's leading. See, sí. so uh, leaders, if you wanna open the chance to do the things, these uh, things, you need to engage from here more torsion. This is one way to do it. Okay. Also, you could add to that that we didn't do it, but we are going to do it right now. A tiny sagada. See. So rather than switch here, you can switch there. You see? So that's going to create a lot of impulse. See, so just because you change the position of your step. Right? So it's in addition to the movement of the upper body. Sorry. Sorry. Okay? So in addition to this, which you can do it without the sakai, in addition to that. You just put a tiny entrance, no? Or entrada. ¿Sí? Entonces, when we do the entrada, let's check huh? how it looks. Sometimes the guy, when, they, when he's leading the, the hero, he's in my axis. So when he's in my axis, I feel this. Look, I can't do this embellishment. This embellishment and all the dance is very, is much better when you are stable in your axis, give a little bit of weight to your partner and, and, and feel this diagonal in your body. When this diagonal, imaginary diagonal, you cut because some hair or something, you can dance well. So please guys, take care about the posture, take care about the dance. Okay, now with music. 